think that One Struck did a good job, but One Struck is known as a tank roam player. So limiting his heroes, limiting the amount of uh, players that he's able to uh, to to pick up, that is going to be tough on him. So he's really limited right now. The leader is still open up, and it is a viable hero for him to pick out. I mean, I I, I want to see a Baxia coming through here. Oh yeah, we haven't seen that in a long, yeah, long I, time. I mean, that's not the off. But that's a Baxia going through here. Yeah. yeah, because due to the fact that Diroff has been banned by the side of Zion, the first thing that I'm looking God for really is later. tankier. Your team is picking. I, I thought that even that could be a possibility that, that uh, Karina tank may even come back here. Yeah. Because right now, for Team Flash, they don't have anyone that can actually deal with a tanky uh, tank composition. They don't have anyone that shreds very well. And looking at Popol and Koopa, yes, he is a he is a tank bully and technically uh, sorry, not tank bully, lane bully. And for Bauman, he can be a lane bully as well. But we still don't really know Bauman's role. So possibilities on Karina tank here. Uh, well, Bauman. <laughs> Yeah, Belmont is like rarely played in the EXP lane. I'm I'm thinking, okay, Valentina scales really, really well off in the EXP lane. We do have the mobility from Valentina. I'm thinking, okay, Valentina is still flexible play. Yeah, strike hard. Marsha is Your out team is picking. Right up against uh, the Thamus, or, or actually the Esmeralda. I was about I was about to say about the Marsha being wide open and Marsha has been a direct counter for a lot of marksmen. Definitely. Yep. And then, okay, I have a question. What are the odds of Esmer? Okay, okay, we know that the Tamus will surely go to the jungle side. Yeah. Okay, what are the odds that they will go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the I want to see that. Okay, Esmeralda is scary in the jungle. Crazy fast, especially with the Demon Slayer emblem mm. on the Esmeralda. You clear out the lanes really, really fast, and you have additional regen and attack speed, and that's all you need for an Esmeralda to scale off. And that that brings down your power spike level uh, over to once you we fight, or so even you don't have when to you have oh. your second your second skill. Oh, but Wonderstruck picks off that Rafaela. What do you think of this support roam versus support roam pickup? Um, I mean. Flash has the bigger bigger advantage mm -hmm. because the Masha will be split pushing. Mm -hmm. And if if like if Zion is having the Esmeralda as the off lane, right? And then they, they'll be the short of manpower doing everything fight. Mm -hmm. Because there's a Popol and there's a Valentina and Bellman alongside it. Yeah. And you don't have the setup capability if mm -hmm. Esmeralda is out of the picture. You only have the Rafaela. But do you wanna gamble it? Do you wanna risk uh, Rafaela just jumping in and spamming that ultimate? I but we'll just have to wait and see because we're moving on to game number two. Let's take a look at game number two here. Zion, I believe that they have learned a hard lesson. So how are they going to change things up against Team Flash? They need to look out and not to be dead by a single nail in the coffin. This time, there's no Selena. Maybe things will be better. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll just have to see what goes on right now with all the different teams, uh, with all the different drafts and different strategies. It does seem like both teams are neck and neck in terms of win potential. But you know that Clint is going to be very decent against the Popo and Koopa, but you look at that movement on KZP. Generally, it was a 2 1 1 in the previous game, but right now it's down back to 1 3 1, where the roam is going to be stuck in the middle and facing off against the opponent's mid lane. So, how are things gonna be like? Because Rafaela have already dropped her HP down to a sliver. Understandably, because when it comes down to Team Flash, they have a very strong early game. We have Popol and Koopa in the lane bully, Rem uh, Reminiscent is playing as a bomber, and as I've said before, in the super early stage of the game, if you somehow find a single kill, you should be able to find subsequent kill from that point onwards. Let's not forget that KZP playing as a Mathilda, he's literally gonna be the Singapore Airlines of Team Flash. <laughs> so, Definitely, yeah. whatever that it is, they have an entry. They have a way to break into Zion's front lines and even back lines in this situation. Zion doesn't really have someone that can actually save Supergirl during clutch situations. The only kinds of lockdown they have right now to me is Mango's Falling Star Moon. 
I can't see anything else uh, other than maybe Wonderstruck. Maybe Wonderstruck's ultimate. But it, how the turntables? Uh, how uh, the turntables? Because <laughs> like because Flash uh -huh. right now is playing a super early game composition right, versus right. Zion, who is effectively gearing up to the late game. They can Wonderstruck hits that late. power spike and gets that tank spike, so to speak, is able to stick next to Supergirl. But we're in that first turtle, definitely gonna go down reminiscent. That's why you pick up Balmon. That's why you claim the objective. Well, you have a bobbin. Mm -hmm. You can't lose the jungle. Oh, you, you can't. can't. You can't lose a turtle. If you if you lose the jungle in a, in a bobbin, you, you're yeah. not doing your job. Yeah. So um, in a very event that that actually happens, I think that we will casually walk down to the players and actually shake their hands for losing the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, I, yeah, that's that's a little bit sensitive for me, but uh, but this is a really, really scary uh, play style coming in from Flash. It's something different from what we're used to in the early uh, in, in the first game because KCP and A1, A2, they are tied like a buddy system, like what you have in primary school. You're always tagged to a buddy, so wherever KCP goes, A1, A2 is there to follow. Well, even KZP decided to go into the enemy's bottom quadrant of the jungle, trying to steal things up a little bit. But both sides, Team Flash and Zion, they are not too interested in really killing anyone per se. They have been pretty darn aggressive, such as the bottom side. You can see that KZP is trying to open the map up as much as possible, even to the point of the fact that once he's almost getting caught out, he will always have a flicker to get himself away. But now Wonderdrug put himself right in the face of three other enemies, oh. and that allowed the circling eagle to connect down onto Wonderstruck. Brings him down almost immediately, dropping KZP's HP down to the all-time low thanks to her retribution. Not retribution, but the holy retribution. Right, first blood. First blood goes down to Team Flash. They are having a pretty decent game uh, compared to the last game where Zion is effectively choking them with any farm. This game seems a lot more slow-paced, which is what Flash um, is not supposed to be doing, in my opinion, because you have to go in gung-ho with a lot of the engages, but right now, Romanison, deep in the enemy jungle, getting stunned down by three, gets taken out by KZP, into okay. that okay. way, but it's a Should little bit okay. okay. He's still able to get out, okay. he's okay! Oh. oh my god, four members from the side of the zone are just oh, gonna be pushing themselves out! Oh. Wait, hold on, Mango, take it down! Oh. That oh. is going oh. to be oh. the first blood coming in. Oh no, that's not the first blood, that's the second, second blood. blood. <laughs> that's the second blood! Second blood! Oh, oh yeah, first blood is one Oh, right, he's yeah, yeah. literally Alpha V and I driving in like a car right now, <laughs> man. Oh man. Boy, oh boy. Okay, Team Flash, just they, they are taking the kills that they needed. Yeah. They are playing the early game team that we are expecting. And yes, they do have late game uh, they do have a late game insurance coming in the form of Alpha V9 as well. Yeah. He's got unbending will when it comes down to the emblem and we know just exactly how a Masha is. You can be tanky, you can be very bursty as well. Yeah. Imagine a full stack item of Masha just dashing right into him and uh, uh, just dashing into Supergirl. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes up like 9 out of 10 of his health. Okay, come to think of it, I kind of like Flash's uh, draft right now because of the fact that they picked up uh, Matilda, KZP on that Matilda. You have a very, very solid engage, a solid disengage, a solid heal if you're buying favor as a roam, uh, roaming boot. Mm -hmm. This enables you to stay in the team fights, get in of team fights, get out of team fights. So. Effectively, Zion is going to have a hard time to cycle any one of you. So if you're in Zion right now and you're playing a, or you're thinking of playing a pickoff strategy, it's going to work badly for you. This is definitely something that we are expecting from Team Flash when it comes down to playing as a Mathilda. They are very confident when it comes down to playing a Mathilda into any junglers. So honestly, we might be able to see more of these Mathilda. And honestly, I don't remember seeing a lot of Mathilda in many other teams out there, or rather in the single for scene at least. But for now, we're just gonna hold that thought because it kind of seems as though Flash is finally putting more aggression onto the middle lane. They very effectively brought down the first tier turret like, like a hot knife through butter and I don't know how that eventually worked out. Reminiscent, he went in a little bit too slow with that, uh, with ca catching on to the tails of KZP a little bit too early, but 
it still managed to put quite a lot of dominance into the opponent's jungle. And that is the proxy I'm talking about. The opponents have no answer to it. Yeah, and right now, the first lane swap is happening. The first turret on the south side of the map is destroyed. And as we are speaking, the top side destroyed by Jay. And Jay having a good well, time there. trying to force Supergirl and choking him of any farm he needs to get to get fed, to mm -hmm. get full. And it is really difficult right now because you're you're always constantly, okay, I need to protect Supergirl, I need to protect Supergirl, I need to be on him. Because he is my win condition, he is, I'm, I'm going to funnel him, and it's going to be very, very hard for you to do so. And now, 2 to 0, we're currently 7 minutes and 11, in, uh, 7 minutes and 11 seconds into the game. Almost taken down Supergirl when it comes oh, down Supergirl, to the lethal deep. counter. Oh, oh KZ oh. tried to be greedy. Things did not work out very well from him as Mango cut in between. Right down onto Jay, coming in with the Falling Star Moon. Picks him off almost immediately. But right now, Team Flash left with A1, A2, reminiscent as well as Alpha V9. They are going to be pushing in middle lanes to, uh, themselves. And of course, trying to take the purple buff off for themselves. Is that really possible? Do Zion actually have no answer to this? Well, it seems well, like the answer even, is yes. Well, even with that uh, that kill, you see three core items being built up by Mango, Vanix, and One Struck. Supergirl already has that endless battle, so his power spike is there. All he needs to do is stay back and let the rest of the team do the work. Let the knife do the work. Just like a hot knife through butter, Supergirl's job is just not to get hit. And die. And die. <laughs> yeah, because once I mean, he yeah, dies, you, you can't get hit. Yeah, if yeah. you can't get hit, then you, you can't, can't die. die. That's, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> you can't get hit. If you don't get hit, you don't die. But at this point in time, we are 8 minutes and 23 seconds into the game. Both teams are technically hanging on knife's edge. Any rumble is going to make the team implode. As such, both teams, they have to be really careful about how things are going to work out. Yes, Team Flash definitely do have some advantage when it comes down to their goal and economy, but this goal is what is going to make things different. It's either going to push the advantage over the Team Flash even more to the point whereby Team Flash would be able to win by the second Lord, or Zion is going to balance things out even more and put the game into a total reset. You don't see a lot of team flights coming up from Team Flash, even though they have an early game composition. This is because Bauman is effectively just getting his objectives and just getting that slow lead in terms of the turret. Now oh! the turret have tables, Wonderstruck pops that immortality though. Reminiscent? Doesn't seem like things are going to be working out very well for Zion. The Holy that Baptism didn't even touch anyone at this point in time. Wonderstruck is understandably the rumor, the one that opens up the map. You can't expect to see Vanix opening up the map just yet. Mango's current job is all about split pushing. You can't go into brushes, you can't do anything. The only thing that you are expecting is just Holy Baptism into the brushes or use Azura X's umbrella to go into the brushes. That is your only way of opening map in the mid stages of the game until Mango starts to become a lot more beefy. But let's look at the player go, reminiscent, doing his job, just getting that farm, getting that uh, jungle secured over to the side of Team Flash. That is his job, his only job. J, Alpha V9, quick to follow in that uh, high goat list. And of course, we'll see Mango as the fourth place in terms of uh, a goat economy. But this is not what you want to see in oh. terms of Zion. But hold on a second, A1A2 barely a gets out of that live. A1A2, he did manage to get himself alive out of that. But on that he line, though, Alpha away. V9. He does have his corner in Inferno. Immediately, a hop, skip, and a jump gets himself away while the rest of the members just catching up afterwards. The second tier middle lane turn is still going to be holding up. And I believe that we do have Alpha V9 waiting for the perfect time to eventually charge onto someone. Oh man, Alpha V9 is just, it's just immaculate in his decision making, just going in straight for Supergirl. And if they manage to take out Supergirl, this is an off chance, but they're gonna take it off. But Alpha V9, he did manage to do a ride down on the Supergirl, but it doesn't seem like he has got a lot of damage to himself. The small little claws that went into the skin of Rafaela somehow became lethal. The Team Flash is 3 to 2. Their gold advantage is looking to be 6 thousand gold on top and they don't really want to push their advantage anymore they have decided to fall back into the enemy's jungle's quadrant and try to steal away their purple buff at this point in time all they're trying to do is suffocating them mm -hmm. and i mean like i said in the draft 
if you are, if you give a Valentina over to the side of your opponent's team, you're basically handicapped because you don't have a lot of set setup capabilities aside from Mango. If Mango is on the offside, that means every single time Flash goes in, you don't have a reverse hit onto them. And Supergirl, all you need to do as Zion is to protect him so, so well. And this is what they're trying to do. Zero X, nothing, no one he can burst down except, except for Jay. I would never want to see a fight between a Masha and a, a Esmeralda. I would never. It's gonna ever be a long see. fight. Yeah, it's I, gonna last. Like I wouldn't years. even call that a fight. <laughs> <laughs> but they're just gonna sustain their way through, and no one's gonna die. It's like practically, yeah. yeah. I would never want to see that. Oh, but hold on a second, KZP rave down low. Vanix trying to go in. Ying Yang overturn was pretty much used. Okay. As such, okay. Zion pretty much have one ultimate down. But I don't think the Flash is going to change anything. I don't think that they are just going to turn into an aggressive immediately yet. Alpha V9 taking that most damage and as as right he is because he's going straight for Supergirl every single time. And once that happens, Zion changes their target priority to uh, Alpha V9, leaving Flash time to really fight front to back. And this is really effective. And Alpha V9 is really... Into, I think he's just annoying person to be around, but... Leaning over turn on the A1, A2, not dealing the amount of damage that he needs. Jay trying to zone them out of the way. 4,000 HP, uh, 4,000 HP left on Lord and Zion have to answer to that. Right after the Lord is taken Ooh. down, Zion jumped right in onto A1, A2. Valentina is out of commission, but they don't even have to miss, uh, they don't even have to do too much about it. The Lord will be popping out in a few seconds time, maybe about 10 seconds. Okay, never mind, make it 3 seconds from this point <laughs> on. And now A1, A2 isn't even around. So the only thing that Team Flash can do is just hope that every single one of these lanes push us on slowly. That's why all of Flash members, they just don't want to be anywhere close to the lanes. L well, look at the side of Zion. Look at how they're pathing right now. Because of A1, A2 going down, they are a little bit more confident in going out and getting that farm. And A1, A2, right he is, dealing the most amount of damage for Team Flash. Mango in a close second, Azura X doing that job as a mid laner in the side of uh, Zion. Supergirl really needs to pop off. He really needs a little bit more time, but he is that win condition for the side of Zion. The Trident Clash coming in from the Lord will eventually bring down the, the, the last inhibitor turret in the bottom lane as he slowly pillage out the rest of the members from the side of Zion. Reminiscent go straight in. The lethal counter connects up the one to but not quite enough to bring him down until Jay threw in his javelin. Bring him down one after another. Hard Javelin through the heart. Zion is just going to left with four other members and they need to find a way to deter the aggression coming in from Team Flash. And in the end, they did. All they got to do is just focus down onto every single one of these minions. And that is exactly what they did. As such, extending their lifetime just by a little bit longer. Yeah, that's why I said KZP is a really, really scary pick coming out for a side of Team Flash. Just pulling out whoever is really close to death mm -hmm. and just taking out someone in the process. When struck not having a very, very good game this time around as a Rafaela, you would really need the Rafaela for Supergirl to really pop off. You need the movement speed. You need Supergirl to really chase on to um, to an enemy and sustain his way through an effective team fight. But what Zion did was effectively just defending the entire base, two turrets to be exact, in a really disciplined fashion. Looking at how the game has been like, Team Flash is now 45,000 gold into the game mm -hmm. and they are close to getting their end game equipments. Mm -hmm. While Team Zion, they are still behind. They are still finishing up their mid game equipments, not exactly at the end game's power spike that we are looking out for. In fact, they don't really have someone that is really having an end game power spike. Yeah. The only thing that we expect more is that they start to become a little bit beefier, such as Mango is a bit beefier, Vanix is a bit beefier. In fact, looking, uh, if I, uh, if I remember correctly, Vanix is mostly tankish and doesn't really have a lot of uh, oh, attack items. Oh, goes down! I don't know how that eventually worked out, but from this point onwards, Azura X well. X goes down as well! Two down. members down! Azura uh, A-Alpha V9, he eventually just going to be pushing his advantage as he went in the proxy round. He didn't even bother killing anyone or hitting anyone. He knew that he going to have to dash onto someone, and that person is going to be Azura X. Two 
two person taken down, that is the main thing. Thanks to the highlights, we are going to be able to tell exactly what happened here. Alpha V9 don't even care about anything here. Yeah, in one H2 went in straight with Reminiscent, going straight for one struck, knowing that one struck is needed for that extra sustain. But Mango? once he's down, there's no way Zion is able to sustain through a team fight because you do have KZP on that Matilda. Supergirl, a little bit short of a third of his health gone, but it looks like Team Flash is going to focus their fire onto that Lord. Flash, they have managed to get themselves the third Lord, and that is understandably what Team Flash will call their GG push. If they do not get this GG push down, well, Actually, I don't think that it's going to be that big of a deal anyways because Zion, they don't have any late game superiority in any uh, in any situation. For Team Flash, they have the most amount of scaling from the early to the late stages of the game. Looking at Alpha V9, he can, he can, he can just stack up on his HP as much as possible with all of the items that he can get. And having so many of those Guardian Helms as well as the Twilight Armor is actually pretty darn expensive. And I don't believe that Supergirl can burst down both Reminiscent and Alpha V9. Yeah, not especially with their immortality. You have to kill them twice. But hold on a second. Alpha Super Girl. Straight for Supergirl. The lethal count, unfortunately, was not able to connect. Well, now Vanix puts himself right in the face of Reminiscent. He did manage to use his Cauldron Inferno. And such, no more Cauldron Inferno for the next fight in here. And the Lord haven't even touched the card just yet. Things are not starting to look very well for Zion. Is open. It kind of seems as though Team Flash is going to 2-0 against Zion. All of the members come from Zion is still alive. Not now anymore. A Zorax, take him down! Zorax remember from Team oh, Flash focuses oh, on the Guardian, bring it right down! Oh, Flash, GG! What a game! What a discipline endgame! The GG push coming out with that Lord as well. Taking down that turret so that Lord is effectively just hitting your core. The Hibernators? Did I see anything the about the Hibernators? Well, at least historically, that was their name in the previous season. But right now, we know what Zion is made up of. We know how, how Zion has played in the previous season. But a 2-0 victory in the, uh, in the name of Team Flash. I don't think a lot of people expected that. No, I, I did not expect this. I was, I was, I was hoping for a, for a three game. A three game just trying to go down uh, with the first game, trying to just test water, see what they're capable of. And then the second game, try to go in strong.